since people don't buy me gifts why not do a what i got myself for christmas <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, please don't forget to click that subscribe button. That way you guys get notified every single time I upload a video. First of all, I'm so sorry about my hair. It's just one of those days where your hair does not want to work with you. So I just threw it up in a braid because if I didn't put it in a braid, it's going to be a complete frizzball. So today's video is going to be something a little bit different. Since usually throughout this time of the year, people are uploading what I got for Christmas video. But I was like, I want to do something a little bit different. <laughs> so instead of doing a what I got for Christmas video, I'm here to do a what I got myself. For Christmas video so I decided to just splurge on myself you know treat yourself I bought a few little things but majority of the stuff I am gonna show are beauty products and then I also bought a few clothing items but they didn't come in time and I was like I need to film this video today so maybe I'll do like a haul or something in the future but for now I bought some stuff from Amazon because Free today shipping is always a plus. I bought some stuff from Sephora and also from Ulta. So if you guys are interested to find out what I got myself for Christmas, then just keep on watching. So I'm gonna start with Amazon because I got like the least stuff, but now that I look at it, it's gonna be such a complete random haul. For instance, the very first thing I got <laughs> was this Ultra SanDisk 64 gigabytes SD card. Now, the reason why I got this is because I almost went through a whole scare the other day because I've had my SD card. I only have one, by the way. And if you do YouTube, you know how crucial that is because if that one SD card damages, you lose all your footage and you lose basically the only SD card that you can film with. So I was like, you know what, let me just buy one. Especially because the one I have is like completely torn apart. Like I literally have to put it in super, super slowly for it to work properly. So I was like, yeah, I need to get a new one ASAP. Basically all that I wanted was a 64 gigabyte because I feel like that's a good size. And then the next thing I got were two body oils. The first one I got was this bio oil, skincare oil, and it's just a good oil to use on your body. For instance, it helps improve the appearance of scars and stretch marks. Actually, I have the smaller version of this. The reason why I bought the smaller version first was because I wanted to try it out. So I actually ended up really, really loving it. So I ended up buying the 4.2 fluid ounce. It looks like this. It's just a simple oil. Let me see if I can open it for you guys. Voila! <laughs> And then the next oil I got was this vitamin E with organic rosehip and jojoba oil. Now I was looking into vitamin E oil and rosehip oil, but I found this one that has both of them in one. So I was like, score. So I ended up buying this one as well. I heard vitamin E oil is amazing for like scars and just your body in general. So I wanted to give it a try. And then the next thing and final thing from Amazon is super, super, super random. But I was like, why not buy it, you know? So I ended up buying tongue cleaners. Now, let me explain. <laughs> you guys are probably like, what? So it's like these little copper... What do you even call these? Like it's just like a metal scraper and you just use these to clean your tongue. It's super hygienic and I keep seeing a lot of people rave about this and you know me, I'm all about the hygiene. So I was like, let me just buy one of these and give it a try myself. So basically it's just it just cleans your tongue. So you just like scrape it. <laughs> I don't want to demonstrate because no. Um, but yeah, you just scrape your tongue with this and then over time your tongue will be very nice and clean. Yeah, <laughs> I find this so weird to talk about this, but it's just a tongue scraper. That's basically what it's called. Next up is going to be Sephora. And the reason why I went to buy stuff in Sephora is because that's like the typical splurging store for me because I don't usually buy from Sephora. I only buy from Sephora like maybe once a year or twice a year. The first thing I got was this watermelon burst hydrating primer. The reason why I bought this primer 
And usually like around the winter cold months, my skin is super, super dry. So I was looking into a good hydrating primer. And then the next thing I got was this Anastasia Beverly Hills Browers. I ran out out of the other one I had. So I was like, why not restock? I bought it in the shade Ebony. This stuff is amazing, guys. Like, I highly, highly recommend. And then I got two face type of products. I got this foundation here by Norris, and it's the Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation. Again, looking into the hydrating radiant type of products, I figured this foundation would go amazing with the hydrating primer that I bought. And I'm actually super excited because it's my very first NARS product, but I know once you start, you won't find your way out. So I'm super scared about that. And then another thing I got was this Your Skin But Better CC Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream by A Cosmetics. It's basically a CC cream since your girl's getting older. <laughs> I decided to look into the whole SPF and like sunscreen type of thing. It does have anti-aging hydrating serum, which is amazing for your skin. It's a CC cream, but it's also a full coverage CC cream, which is mind blowing. And then lastly, I got this little Urban Decay set. And basically, if I can open it for you guys, it basically has like this little all-nighter makeup setting spray. I've never seen this kind though. I feel like this one is limited edition or as a customized design that's what it is but basically it's a temperature control technology and then in the set it brings this urban decay moon dust eyeshadow you guys won't be able to see it because of the lighting in here but it's basically like a glitter eyeshadow let me see if i can swatch it for you guys but it's super super pretty like it has tons of glitter which is amazing for this time of the year. And then last but not least, I got my Ulta order in for today, which was perfect timing. And I bought a few things from here because I kind of do go insane with Ulta because I don't have an Ulta near me. So every time I do buy online, I like to like, I like to like, I like to basically buy everything all at once because I'm not trying to pay for that shipping over and over and over again. I still have everything in the packaging. <laughs> So the first thing I got was this Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth Normal to Dry Setting Powder. I feel like the reason I bought this was because it was on sale or I found it super, super affordable. And I was like, did they mess up on the pricing? I believe this was like $4 and I was super, super shook. So I was like, add to cart, <laughs> which is super, super dangerous. I'm just gonna randomly take out stuff from the box. And then I got this Ulta Beauty Premium quilted round cotton pads. The reason I bought these was because I ran out out of my regular cotton pads, so I was like, why not buy them from Ulta? Next up is, ooh, I forgot I bought this. This is a Superstay, this is a Superstay. This is a Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Concealer. The reason why I bought this was because I kept seeing it on Instagram videos, and if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, because I now do makeup videos, wink wink um you guys should totally follow me anyways what i was saying i kept seeing this concealer on instagram so i was like why not try it i love 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 the super safe foundation so i was like why not try the concealer and i love the packaging it's super cute it's like a little doe foot applicator but it's a squeezable tube which is super super smart because I hate when the products have products inside but there's no way you can get it out because it's like a glass bottle or it's like the packaging won't let you get like the itty bitty last product. Talking about Superstay, as you can see, I love the Maybelline Superstay line. I got my handy dandy Maybelline Superstay full coverage powder. I've gone through like six of these, like seriously, no lie. I just love this powder so much. And then another thing I got was this Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter. I'm super late on this Maybelline highlighter trend. I feel like they were really, really popular during the summer, but I was never able to get my hands on one until today. <laughs> wow, this is super pretty. Pretty. Oh my god. Ooh, I forgot. I'm super excited to try this. This is what happens when you forget what you ordered. You're basically surprised, you know? A perfect Christmas gift. <laughs> but I got this Catrice Cosmetics foundation. One, I've never really heard about this cosmetic line. And two, I was super intrigued by it being a 24-hour foundation 
wink wink because that's gonna be a video that I'm going to do super super soon but yeah this had amazing reviews online and the packaging is super intriguing like it has like a dropper and it's full coverage so I was like sounds like a perfect foundation for me makeup gets me so excited I'm so happy <laughs> when it comes to buying makeup. I'm literally like a kid on Christmas day. And the last two products I got were from the brand The Ordinary. You guys know I use all of their products like crazy. So I just ended up repurchasing the glycolic acid toning solution. This is basically the toner that I use every night on my skin. Why can I never open boxes? I love, love, love this toning solution because it has cleared up my skin immensely and I keep seeing your guys' comments like every time I do like a makeup video or every time you guys see my skin. Whenever you guys compliment my skin, I'm always like, oh my god, super sweet, thank you. <laughs> but honestly, this has helped me a lot and I highly recommend it if you're looking into a new toner. But I do want you to be careful because the pH is 3.6 and it's a glycolic acid toning solution so if your skin is really sensitive I don't know how this might go for you but I love it and I never want to go back to another toner and last but not least I got this direct acid peeling solution by The Ordinary and the reason why I bought this is because again I kept seeing it on the Instagram videos I swear they always get me but it's basically like a bright red type of ooh. This looks like blood. <laughs> it's basically like a acid appealing. It's just called a peeling solution. And you just apply this like during the nighttime. And I believe you don't leave this on your skin. I believe you just remove it after a few minutes. Yeah, it says leave on for no more than 10 minutes. So that's basically everything I got for myself. If you think about it, it's kind of a lot because I did buy a lot of makeup items. Like I said, the clothing items that I ordered didn't get here in time. So maybe I'll do a haul in the future. Let me know by giving me a thumbs up if I should do a haul for you guys. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And like always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I would gladly appreciate it. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time on my next video, which is very, very soon. Bye guys. And happy holidays.